Live from New York, Drew's here, guys, <laughs> and we've got Drew and we got uh, Jen B, and we're going to be doing one eye today. But just because this was a young man, and when we read his case, and I don't have a name here, but when he read his case, it was so bad that for for an 18 year old, I needed to see his eyes. So I'm going to show you a pic of his eyes that he sent me sometime past. But we're just now getting to that. And this week we decided we we're going to do eye pics. We're going to take a day, right? And we're just going to do eye pictures and show you uh, uh, that, again, iridology and how fun that is and, you know, how to, how to do that, how to read eyes. Because once you get that, pretty much you don't even have to ask. You say, well, let me look. Oh, pituitary right there. Right? And you, you, you just don't have to ask because you see it in the eye. And you can correlate that, the eye picks, with the symptomologies. Therefore, if you have a, you feel like you're having gastric problems, look at your eye. Is it the gallbladder? Is it the liver? Is it the pancreas? And you can see that in your eye. So it's pretty cool stuff. And the AMA doesn't have any. Matter of fact, this was created or actually discovered, shall we say, by the AMA, basically, by a medical doctor. And like a lot of times they get rid of things that are really good and this one is really really good but it fits more us natural people because it fits into detoxification uh, lymph stagnation acidosis it just fits perfect and of course it would because it's truth truth always fits perfect you know there's no ands buts or anything else like that to that and instead of reading and since they're here I want to go in and start showing you uh, this young man's eyes uh, this is an 18 year old. Uh, he said his eyes were gray from 11 to 1. And we'll take a look at this. Uh, since he was four years old, you asked him to send in his eyes. Yeah, I don't see gray per se. Uh, let's take a look, Drew. Yeah, are we going to bring it here? Or are we going to bring this over? Come around. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Uh, okay. There we go. Mm. Now. What we have here is the right eye and we have the left eye. And this is a brown eye, of course. You don't see any blue. You don't see any orange or anything like that to show you that it could be a blue eye. Uh, he might be talking about this part above the head area here that looks a little gray. And you see kind of that same thing in the lower, the left eye, kind of a gray up here at the top of the head area. Um, I would have to have uh, my camera to take a look at that. If not, it looks like a film across here, and it could be cholesterol placking, but it looks like some of the sclera has come down over that a little bit. It's hard to see here. Hard to tell. Generally, when you see a translucent hue, either above the, uh, uh, the 12 o'clock, say anywhere up here on the top, or even you see it all the way around, that's a serious, serious problem. That's cholesterol placking. And that would be more serious. I kind of think he's referring to this area in the top of the head here, which is interesting. If it's not cholesterol, it's, 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 it's interesting. It looks like a part of this sclera. Mm -hmm. It does. You know? Yep. So it, it's just not hard to see. If you see it right here, you see part of that sclera kind of, kind of coming over here. So interesting that it would cover that like that. But, you know, in today's world of genetics, because when you look at this eye, this young man has a fair amount of genetic weaknesses that one has to address. Remember, we talked about these dark black lines as called radii solaris, and they radiate out uh, just above this pupil. Let's, let's get the GI tract so you all know where the GI tract is. Hard to see with this one, but you'll see this. It's about, a, oh, let's say, a half inch from the pupil to this outside perimeter where you'll see a definition between this area and out here. So this is the GI tract, this whole area immediately around the pupil. Now immediately around the pupil is the stomach area, and we've talked about this before. Here's a good example. Do you see that black that's, that's kind of coming out of this pupil? 
that stomach and that 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 area it shows to me that his stomach has some uh, uh, degeneration in it at 18 years old it shows me that he has some stomach problems here and that he's burning his stomach either from a lack of bicarbonate when he eats his proteins or interstitial lymphatic constipation which is acidosis interstitially around the cells you can see a a a, a wall now this isn't as defined as some of them but this this little wall here has some limp stagnation not real heavy but it's enough to give that dark malabsorption ring if you look at this pupil you'll see a black ring around the outside border of it it's black but there's a blacker ring around the outside border that's really a brown ring when you really look at it in a blue eye and that's a malabsorption ring so it shows that this lad is not absorbing his nutrition now these deep dark radius solaris they're coming out of this see this portion across the top here of the pupil that's the transverse colon and I've said many times when we're referring to the pituitary gland that you have to have a transverse colon weakness to get that and here's a great example of that see how this black radius solar that's very dark goes right in right into the stomach area that occurred in the embryonic stages this is a deep genetic weakness in this young lad and this is big time pituitary and that is going to slam all the other glands so just for the sake of it let's look at the other endocrine glands while we're looking at this so we know the pituitary is down here that's a big time down by the way now you could use upper circulation to get up in these tissues because that black refers to a an advanced state of weakness we would almost call it atrophy or decay uh, if it gets too dark there so this is a very 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 top of the line chronic area well of course the pituitary controls literally all the endocrine glands and uh, let's look at the left pituitary gland and what do we get the same thing going on here Drew see that uh, big time pituitary right here but you see how these while we're at the left side let's look at that look here's another one coming up in the toward the back of his head and of course this gets in right here we're into two areas that creates MS this is a perfect setup for MS this guy here because this is the cerebellum mastoid left ear and that is all chronic and that can give him equilibrium dizzy drop foots all kinds of problems back of the head problems dizziness you know that sort of thing we get here on the right side we seeing the same thing up here in the cerebellum mastoid area and the right ear that's a chronic right ear weakness genetic and a mastoid or cerebellum now we also as we're looking up here this is the animation lifeline those that feel like they don't have the grit the strength the power of God that sort of thing that's why that is where the the power of God comes right into the uh, and that's the cap the cap on your infants and so uh, that's a weakness in the automation lifeline and that uh, that needs to be fixed to empower this young lad if you look at the left side of the body there is so many more radius solaris than the right side look at all these radius solaris here and then as we pan up to the top we don't have near as many so when you look at weaknesses you genetic weaknesses you know what system had to be involved to break down tissue in the in your past uh, relatives the lymphatic system so we're looking at the right kidney uh, not too bad. Look at that, Drew. Not too bad. Look at a little bit of, say, subacute weakness in the right kidney. Not bad at all. Mm -mm. Maybe a little subacute adrenal there a little bit. Mm -hmm. But let's look at the left side. Big time difference. Big time difference. Big time. So there you go. Here's the kidney weakness, and here's that side with a lot more genetic weaknesses. Obvious. Obvious. I mean, Obvious. This is a good case to show you mm -hmm. the correlation between the kidney and adrenals and genetics. And look at how vibrant the nerve rings exactly. are. Exactly. Oh, big on, time. Uh, oh, big time. Look at the nerve rings. These rings that go around the eye mm -hmm. here. Like more the, noticeable. Very, more noticeable. Yeah. Like age rings on a tree. But look at them all, all through his eyes here. And that comes when the adrenals are down. The adrenals go down genetically then your nervous system your autonomic nervous system goes down because the lack of neural transmitters 
or the quality thereof. So his left side is much weaker. Now, while we're up here, are we up here, Drew? Mm -hmm. Take a look at this. This is 6 o'clock. Anybody have an Irish chart? What's 6 o'clock? That's this young man's right leg. And that right leg uh, is extreme on the weak side. This, to me, would be an easy uh, leg to fracture. So now we're starting to see some skeletal issues here. See how black that is? That's all the way down past the knee, all the way down solid, to the ankle. Solid. solid. Yeah. Well, wouldn't, shouldn't we expect, if we see up here in the upper part of the leg, what's the upper part of the leg? The femur, right? And the femur fits up into the hip. So when we see a real chronic leg, couldn't we see a little bit of a chronic hip? Looky right there. A little bit of a chronic hip. Now, here's something you want to be serious. Now, I can't re uh, There's his name. Yeah, now, he's at Eugene. Yes. Now, Eugene, look at this. This is right in the groin area and or in the pelvic area, and that's a little deterioration there. Uh, if it's in the groin area, you have to be careful about a hernia. Mm -hmm. But let's take a trip to the left side of the eye and look at the same thing. The left leg, more so around the knee, though, than, than, than uh, the whole leg, but still the whole leg is in butt, and look at this groin. That whole... Uh, radius solaris is the groin right there. I know. And that, right yeah. there's the hip. Right. I noticed that that line is not as vibrant on the left. Mm -hmm. On the on left. The leg. Yeah, the right leg for some yes. reason. Yep. Some reason. It could have been a lip node. Mm -hmm. Could something here. Could have been surgery? Past could have been. Could have been trauma. Trauma. Could have been trauma right. of a relative even. You know. Oh, wow. <laughs> excuse me. But it's not a kidney or anything. I mean, this kidney could not be filtering, granted. But this is skeletal. This is going to be more related to the pituitary and the parathyroid glands than anything, in my opinion, besides the lymph system tearing it down. Oh, yeah. right. But this is a pretty deep weakness there. You're at the right eye now? Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. so let's take a look. This is up in the brain area. We don't like that. Upper circuit brain and nerve for sure. He's got nerve rings. Of course, this is the uh, adrenal glands. A better adrenal gland to get on the right side. Looking up here, pancreas, not too bad, my friend. Uh, gallbladder and liver, not too bad. These are areas that are not too bad. You can clean them up, no question. But they're not too bad. And this would also be the uh, right testicle. Up here, a little bronchial trunk. Lungs pretty good. Uh, basically, up in the head area is involved a great deal, and skeletal. We're over here, we're up here at the C-spine, that's your upper neck. We're now journeying down to the T-spine. So, upper T's, upper C's, and then we jump down to the lower back and uh, the bladder a little bit. However, let's jump to the left side a minute, and we've just got, we've just got tons of these radius solaris here. So, we have leg, groin, hip, testicle, uh, we've got kidney and adrenals here, we've got uh, 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 prostate, possibly rectal flexure, um, definitely prostate's involved, a little bladder's involved, lower back not so bad but still a little bit involved here, upper better, so upper back right side, lower back left side. Again frontal head, frontal lobe involvement, pituitary, and here we have an insomnia case, or could be, because right there is the pineal gland. It is very chronic, too. So, when you see cases like this, or you're the case, you want to jump on the kidneys and adrenals, because you can see here the difference between a weak kidney and adrenal gland, and what it end up doing genetically to the whole body because of its effect upon the lymph system. And that's just what you're seeing in this eye here. So I think that's pretty good. Anything we missed? Self-explanatory. Self-explanatory. We've got some skin, skin down a little bit. Yeah. Skin yeah, I know, I know. I see the skin. Yeah, I know. Especially if you have the eye chart with them. Well, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, it really helps to... Well, we're going to have... We're going to do a day of eyes here. So what we'll do, grab your eye charts, and we'll have fun uh, in a couple of hours of doing different eyes. Awesome. Yep. But yeah, this is the skin ring on the outside. The outside of the eye is the skin. So uh, you do see some blood vessels here in the sclera. That's just ac systemic acidosis. But this lad's got a lot of work to rebuild himself, especially back of the head, the head area. So that's why you'd be upper circuit brain and nerve. You have to go after the GI tract. Notice all these radius solaris come in out of this GI tract here. That's the embryonic. That is the tail. That's the embryonic tail. This is genetics. And you got to work out of them. You can, and you start getting all raw, and you start working with the herbs, and you start getting the kidneys filtering. These radius solaris will get lighter and smaller.
and eventually and eventually you know work them work their way out but imagine passing this gene this is only an 18 year old imagine this young man getting a woman now and having a child see because this is tipping ms this is tipping Lou Gehrig's or ms this is tipping that because of the pair of the uh, parathyroid the pituitary of the nerve rings the adrenal glands and the cerebellum mastoid got the whole setup all right it sounds good. Oh, while we're showing them, we're showing you cholesterol. And this just happened to be on the top oh, of the pile. Good example. So, so it's a good example up here at his. Uh, that's a translucent. Yeah, that's a translucent uh, cholesterol ring. That looks more like sclera tissue. Mm -hmm. Do that again one more time. Show the top. That looks more like the sclera tissue right here. It doesn't give that. If I pull this up, Drew. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Better. See how uh, that's a cholesterol ring, yes. but this almost, if we're looking at it from here, almost looks part of the sclera over the, which is interesting. I'm sure there's a lot of abnormalities like that. All right. All right. But we have a similar thing in this eye. Look at all the blackness around the bow and little small radius solaris. Mm -hmm. Here's another massive cholesterol eye. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just a glare. There you go. Yeah, I see the glare from the back window there. Nice. Now look at the difference in a blue eye. See, you can see so much more. But he sent in some great picks, this guy, uh, Eugene. Uh, good picks, my my dear man. And get yourself moving on to detox. Think Left about side. Your, what is? Hmm? No, what's? Um, yeah. This? Yes. Okay. You know what? It could be a con it could be one of those contacts or something. Okay. A lens in there. Could be. Or they had some kind of surgery and they uh, tied it or something. I mean, you've seen some of the eyes that they did surgery on that's pretty bad. Yes. In class. Yeah. Yeah. Very you know, some bad. of these surgeons yeah. or the, yeah, some of these surgeons they uh, they can damage the pupil pretty bad. I have one where they totally damaged the pupil. They had to build another pupil. Yeah, that's in the class. Yep. 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 All right, so real quick, here's the lymph nodes. Now, we don't, it's hard to see with him. We don't see too many lymph nodes here, but when you see all these little white dots here, these are all lymph nodes. All right. All right. All right. Thank you, uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for the help. Thank you. Anytime. Thank you. Uh, so I've much. got to uh, go talk to someone real quick, and then I'll come back and finish this video. Love you guys. Okay. Good day, my ones. <laughs> oh, let's see. We did the eyes. It's nice to see Drew back here. But um, the eyes are incredible, aren't they? I mean, it's a simple science. Every one of you youngsters can learn it as well. Look at the eyes, Mommy. I have a little line right here. But um, you can really see. And the, and the problem with Eugene here is a problem with so many young uh, folks. Genetics. What we, my age group, and the age group before me... Uh, of course, it goes back. Bad diets go back. But when you add the advent of chemistry, where you have pharmaceutical worlds, you have penicillin, you have antibiotics. Actually, when you started, you know, they praised the, the use of antibiotics. So that's really when you really started seeing problems. Because it is a bacteria. See, they look at when a symptom is gone. Good, we did it. Yeah. Really? It's easy to suppress a symptom. And then, oh, look, it's gone. I, I did good for you. I got rid of your symptom. Come back as a nightmare, and that's the problem. We've treated our symptoms, acute and subacute symptoms, with pharmaceuticals. And what that did is do nothing but suppress. We never adjusted or thought of the cause because medical doctors created this illusionary concept of diseases. So everybody's thinking they don't have a disease, they're good, where did this come from, and everything else. They did not understand how the body works, they didn't understand the two sides of chemistry and how that works. I don't care what classes they were in. So, Eugene, from me, dig in, son. You're going to need to really get yourself uh, 
regenerated there a little bit. Especially neurological, GI tract, all of that. Herbal first aid. I'm going to address this one. Uh, this, this one, we get some of these, and I've addressed this a million times, but I want to address this one. And this was written in by Claudette. And I think I have before, Claudette, but I think we just got this in here. And it says, uh, no answer to my first question, whatever that is. You have to realize, I don't get to most of your questions. And it's, it, I don't, it's not trying to be rude or anything. I, I just time to do them. You know, it, it is so much for me to sit and tell you about your case. That's why if I sat and gave you protocols too, I'd never get to any cases. So it, 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 I apologize for that. This is really a, a, a teaching and a training site for, for me to you. If you need help, help. Call the clinic or, or get on rawfigs.com uh, or whatever and, and get the RD people to help. Get people to help you in that way. There's tons, tons of our school grads that are dying to help people. So look them up. Maybe someday we can get out a list of our students and where they live and, you know, if they're helping people. That would be fun. That way you guys have your name out there on a the list. If someone's in your area, community, they can look you up. Or we can give that out. Okay, so let's see. My son, 50. So that puts Claudette at about 70, I would say, unless she had a, had a son at 15. Uh, old And has been following your diet plan for two years, okay, or more. And is very thin, right? Uh, and his face is drawn and skin is gray. He believes he is on the correct path and you are destroying his life and marriage. Uh, his wife is a doctor of pain management. Well, right off, that tells me that in the family situation there's antagonism because a medical doctor as a rule does not understand uh, regenerative detoxification in the whole process. However, with that said, the big, and we were talking about that earlier uh, with, with uh, Eugene here, is malabsorption. You know, when you have malabsorption, I don't think people understand how serious that is. Because when you take malabsorption, what could be blocking, mal, but what is blocking the absorption of your nutrients? Well, what's down there? you might have mucoid plaque appearing on the wall. Now this mucoid is like amyloid plaque for you medical doctors. It is a plaque that comes from protein consumption but also in the bowel from white flour. White flour is gluten. It's a glue. It's a paste. And it acts no different in the body. White flour is one of the most constipating foods you can consume. And all I can tell you is go back to your days in art class where you had paper mache. Because in most art classes, they use white flour paste, flour and water, and makes a good hard paste. You can make a hard baseball out of it. So this is impactive in nature, especially when you're constipated and you hold these foods in you even more. And you're, doing, you're not consuming any uh, solvents, per se. So you have to understand that malabsorption is a lymphatic problem. And this takes it out of the realm of understanding medically because medical doctors do not understand the lymphatic system well. But you must understand the lymph system if you want to know what causes your trouble, what causes your pain, and this medical doctor should know what causes pain. If she doesn't know what causes pain, then I don't care what pain management you're in. It's really narcotics. Now, a lot of pain management docs, I like them because they're, we have a lot of pain management, which is generally your, um, your, um, um, your uh, guys that give you the juice when you go into surgery. It's been one of those days here. It's cold. It's not that cold. It's probably 60-some now. That's cold to me. But uh, they, uh, 
these guys, I have a, a lady, I had her on my radio show, and uh, she was an anesthetist, uh, anesthesiologist, and of course she's pain management, and she would make a uh, uh, magnet jewelry. And so I had her on the show to talk about her, her jewelry and magnet, but we also talked about pain and what causes pain. Because you see, you can treat all day long, and, and, and you will have your problems all day long. Or you can understand what causes pain, what side of chemistry, what system in your body is involved, and fix it. That's simple. Fixing it, however, isn't as simple as ABC. I tried to make it that way so you guys don't get freaked out because it isn't difficult. It takes a lot of self-discipline. But for those that are extremely acidic or extremely malabsorbed, you've got problems. And these problems are way above medical thinking. I'm sorry, I'm not being rude. They just don't have an understanding of how the body works enough to, to understand. They, can't, they don't fix, they don't cure anything. Give me something that medical world cures. I mean cures. You guys that take chemo, if you think they cured your cancer, oh, and you're still living, oh, oh. nope, nope, you're just buying time. Because I'm going to tell you, you've got to understand acidosis and your lymphatic system. So malabsorption is lymphatic stagnation interstitially in the walls of the small and large bowel, because it's never just in the walls of the colon. Generally, you see the UCs, the ulcerative colitis, the Crohn's and all that. The same thing's going on in the small bowel. Sorry. You can see that in the eyes. Easy. So to fix malabsorption, you have to hydrate Get the kidneys to filter, get your adrenal glands up, get the production of neurotransmitters up, and turn everything on, and especially your eliminative organs. Get your thyroid up, get your skin sweating, and start opening the doors. Because you have to open up those interstitial spaces. If you don't, you're not going to absorb nothing. Well, to do that, you have to be on foods that are in terms of detoxifiers. Vegetables are not detoxifiers. Fruits are. Fruits, berries, and melons are the top detoxifiers. The top. And it wouldn't matter if it was greens anyway. Your son would still get skinny because you can't change it and I can't change it. It isn't me that's doing this to him. It's him and you that did this to him. You gave him the lymph system, Mom, Claudette. That's your son. He lived in you for nine months, and so you gave him his lymphatic problems. No offense, but let's get real. You're going to hit me? Let's get real about this. Let's get the truth about this. He's working on you and, and, the, and the donor's uh, genetics and your lymphatic system on top of that. So he's having to deal with all this. So what we do is go in and try to get these kidneys to filter as soon as possible. Thank God people like Hildy and the others have discovered that dry fasting is very beneficial to that. Love you guys. That's that was a definitely a missing link that we needed. But I've seen people take six months to a year to start filtering. That's scary. You can grow any tumor in that time easy. And you have to understand the lymphatic system and what that system is. And by now, watching these videos, you should know the lymphatic system. Because that's where we're hyper focused and for a good reason for it. So, Claudette, you've got a son here with extreme malabsorption. And when you have extreme malabsorption, you're starving anyway. You're just keeping yourself puffy with edema and with fat. Because when you change your diet, you get away from acid forming foods, you get away from fat forming foods, pretty soon you're going to see what's real. So what you're seeing in your son is what's going on with him, what his problem is. It isn't, it's nature. It's not us. We're only giving him the proper foods and we're giving him the proper herbs to regenerate tissue or to accelerate cleansing either way. So if, you're, if, if your son is getting ratted out, he can take a break anytime he wants. We don't push anybody. He can take a break anytime he wants. Slip down to some green drinks, add some salads. But it sounds like your son knows what's up and knows what he has to do to get well. Just because you don't like that his car's not looking real good right now, but it's still in the shop. He's not going to die from this. He's consuming living, vibrant foods. You know, it's funny. Your son is consuming vibrant, living foods the highest nutritional foods, the highest electrical foods, and yet look at him. 
How do you explain that? Malabsorption. Because he's on no stimulants. We don't, we don't recommend stimulants, fattening foods, acid-forming foods. We don't recommend those. And that's what got man in trouble right now, today, is all those foods. So you're always going to see a change in someone, always. The more malabsorption, the more thinness, and, the, and, 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 and you just think the person's going to pass. But he's not. And they'll turn themselves around. When it, but I don't know his case, so you'd have to look at his eyes and look at his case and things like that. Bar destroying his life and marriage? I don't know about that. He seems to like what he's doing. Uh, Marriage-wise, maybe his, his wife, the doctor, of the, she's going to be a medical doctor. So maybe she doesn't understand it enough. She should review these videos because it's important that she understand that because this uh, your son is up for all kinds of GI tract cancers if you don't. He's up for the UCs. He's up for the IBSs. He's up, he's up for all of that because this is what happens. Matter of fact, might want to do a little uh, a little MRI or something and see how thick his wall is right now because this is how you go down. So we're just trying to fix it for him. All the bowel formulas and everything else, but there's no magic out there. We don't wave a wand and people suddenly get well. People work for their wellness. Each and every one of you that are that have overcome your issues have worked for it. And I'm proud of that. And you should be too. Because that's how you learn. That's how you get enmeshed in reality and in truth. And you deserve to get a pat on your back because you worked for it. You you deserve it. Hilly's worked her butt off to get this well. And so it's just, and she's went through talking about ups and downs, ups and downs, excessive thinness, or fracturing of bones. But she was there in the most chronic levels of acidosis. Everything's ready to fracture. I just talked to a poor soul uh, overseas. That she's been in a hospital for years. They move her, she fractures. They just broke both knees again, just moving her. So, you know, these are, these are tough cases. But then they had it on like Boniva Pharmaceuticals, Fosamax, stuff like that, just breaks your bones brittle. It's supposed to make your bones strong. Had the opposite. Remember Fosamax? Not good. Not good. Dead jaw syndrome where it just it made the people's jaws just disintegrate. Fosamax. You know, you gotta be real careful. You gotta think. Let nature rebuild you. But in that rebuilding process, you must remember that you cannot rebuild tissue in an acidic medium. Acids are corrosive. So when you're going in there and we're trying to rebuild your son or any of you guys, it just takes a little time for all this acidosis to come out. If your kidneys aren't filtering, that's a problem. Now your son shouldn't be looking gray. I don't like that because he shouldn't be looking gray. He's on vibrant living foods. So your son could take a break if he wanted to. It's up to him to take a break off of that. We don't drive people anywhere. This is a self-help program, self-help videos. But it is, you, you have to ride the ride yourself, Claudia. That sounds like you are. Let me go on here. He just did a fast and his blood pressure went down the next day to 80 over 50 and he was feeling very lightheaded. Probably. Now, how would you guys perceive that? What's going on here? And this is another part of detoxification, you have to remember, and we've talked about this before. Remember genetics, right? So let's say you come here and I see a real dark lacuna in the adrenal gland. That's chronic. That means you have a chronic adrenal gland. For this lad, for her son, to have this amount of malabsorption and stuff, his kidneys and adrenals have to be way down too, right? All right. So what does your adrenal glands do? All right, they control what? Blood pressure, right? Absolutely. Which blood pressure do the adrenal glands responsible for? Top or bottom? Top, systolic. That systolic blood pressure number is your adrenal gland number. And if medical doctors don't know that, you better get up with it. And you got adrenal gland on each kidney. When you're checking blood pressures, you're checking kidney and adrenals. Period. End of story. They control the systemic blood pressures. Especially the cardiac punch, which is the systolic, and then your main pressure. Now, what 80 over 50, what does that tell you? Big time genetics in the kidney and adrenals, right? 
Right. Well, what has he got? Malabsorption. What system is malabsorption? The lymphatic system. What system does the kidney and adrenal matrix together control? The lymphatic system. 80. Extreme low blood pressure systolically. What does that tell you? Very weak adrenals. All right. You're looking at what? The steroids or the neurotransmitters when you're looking at blood pressure? You're looking at the neurotransmitters. So what you're seeing is low neurotransmitter. That's why the lightheadedness, of course, of course, was it the fast? I mean, of course, when you're not fasting, there's no stimulants. So everything's going to go down to the genetics especially if you're not highly acidic and it's not sending your blood pressure up. And he's been working on it for two years. So in his fast, his blood pressure settled down. That's to his genetics. You can't go lower than that. That's your genetics. Unless you weakened them a lot weaker than your past, then they could. So what that's telling us is 50 is kidneys, right? Too low. So what's going on here? He has kidney and adrenal weakness. Love to see his eyes, Claudette. Send his eyes in. Put Claudette, because I'll remember you. And uh, we'll show you. Because I can tell you, you'll be able to see this, lads. So when you look at that 80 over 50, and that's only one arm. You need to check the other arm. His wife should check the other arm. Matter of fact, his wife, as a medical doctor, should know that he has a kidney and adrenal on both sides, and he has a blood pressure on both sides and a blood sugar on both sides. Why? Because the adrenal glands controls what? Sugar metabolism. Thank you very much. So 80 over 50 is low. Seriously low. That's serious, isn't it? I'd say so. So what do we do to back these people up? This is what we do in our clinic and what we tell you over this, this uh, YouTube channel to do. Either go on a glandular for the adrenal glands or with your son, I would probably, if he's not done a glandular or maybe he has, I would definitely do adrenal herbal hitchhike licorice root because 80, you want to bring that, he's, he's, he's 40 points too low. 40. 120 is textbook. We're not driving his blood pressure down. Not at all. That's his genetics. That's the problem. And this lad isn't young. He's 50 years old. So who knows the shape of his adrenal glands. But you can tell by what she's saying here, just what's going on here. Uh, he would not drink water, only eat oranges in two days. It came back up to 117 over 74. Okay, so it said, he would not drink water only. Eat oranges in two days. It came back up to 117 over 74. Okay? So why are you complaining? That is still systolically too low. Not much. But at 74. I don't want to look at those kidneys. Two years on a raw diet and he's still 74. I would think he'd be closer to 60. Myself. This is not healthy. What are you talking about is not healthy? You have to understand genetics and what you gave him, Claudette. I mean, I'm being real here. You're, you're the donor. You're the mom. So, you know, what did you give him? We have to look at his eyes to see. But you can already see his kidney and adrenals down. And you know that because he's malabsorbed. You're, you don't have excessive thinness unless you're malabsorbed. Because I, 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 spent, uh, I spent years as a fruititarian. And my size, I got down to one... I, I, on my six-month orange fast, I got to 156. I stayed around 160. But I'm not greatly malabsorbed. To have lymphatics from the dairy products. But you see what it did. He hydrated himself and came up a little bit. But it does show you that he still runs a little low blood pressure. But that's not too bad. 117 over 74. I'd rather see 118, 120 over 60. Or close to 65. Somewhere there. So it still shows me a little bit of kidney issue. Because there's always a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know, medical doctors tend to look at, well, it's in the normal ranges, so everything's fine. Oh, really? Low in normal doesn't scare anyone? Like, oh, look where they're going. That's what I do. If I see you going somewhere, I'm going to let you know so you can fix it. But that's because I love you guys. When someone doesn't love you, they're not going to tell you, if they even know. I would like a comment back where you're getting one back. And all I can tell you, honey, is that you got to get, you got to take a look at your son's genetics and all this and understand what he's involved in. And his wife has to, too. And work that out. I have nothing to do with their relationships. But she has to be a medical doctor to be in pain management. So that sets her totally at odds with what he's doing. 
and she just has to understand what he's doing and why he's thin, and she should be concerned about that. But in the right way, in the in, in a doctorate way, and and want to know what's going on with him, what what could be. But if she doesn't understand the thinness and all that, it's time she learns because she's in a field to be a doctor. You should help people and pain management. What's one of the greatest tools of pain management? Alkalize. Alkalize, 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 alkalize. Jump on the other side of chemistry. Get off of the acid side of chemistry. Because as long as you're eating acid forming foods and you're acidic, you're going to always live in that realm. You can take things and play pain management, but I'd rather play cure. Let's get rid of these problems. Let's fix ourselves. So we're healthy and, and vital and, and energetic. And we're not sitting at, at, at in, our, in our 50s, in our 40s, in our 20s with no energy, malabsorbed, skinny as a being. But you got to fix yourselves to get there. And Claudette, your son's working on that. So if you want to send me his eyes, I will show this whole group his eyes. Because they're going to get what we're talking about here. And down here it says, Claudette, detoxifying with fruits, how long should I be on it? Now that's from Claudette. So Claudette, are you fasting with him? See, that's the sort of thing that has to be addressed. You have to understand this. And we've covered this and covered this and covered this. So I've got to use this video for excessive thinness because it's a serious, serious problem. Matter of fact... Hang tight here. Let me see. I tried to show you on that lab this morning. Let me see if I can show you a, a real big mal... Well, here's a little bit of malabsorption ring, and I'll show you why. All right, let's look here. See if I can do this without any help. All right, here. All right. Right around this pupil. See that thick white stuff all around this pupil? The orange is sulfur. This brown ring around the pupil is malabsorption ring. You shouldn't have a malabsorption ring if you don't have malabsorption. And when you correlate this after tens of thousands of eyes, what you get is you correlate all this limp stagnation around the wall here and in the wall, in the wall, the lining of the wall, which is right here, lines the outer portion of this, that's stagnant lymph, heavy stagnation of lymph. And so you start getting malabsorption and this brown malabsorption ring comes on here. Plus, this person's got sulfur problems from antibiotic use, took a boot. So now you know they're full of fungus. So that's what it looks like. And then if you see any blackout in here, the stomach's burning itself, getting burnt from acids. Look at this one. This was a hydraulic jack blew up in a guy's face. Look at that pupil. You can't even see the pupil. This is a big black. Hydraulic jack blew up in his face. The AMA wanted to remove his eye. He came to see me and I said, listen, let's just try. So we used the eye wash. I'm telling you, this hydraulic fluid just kept pouring out of here and he got his eyesight back. Totally blind, got it all back. Oh, here's another malabsorb, but look at this lymph system on this one. Take a look at this one. This is a blue eye. Look how white this eye is. I think I've showed you this one before. Look how thick right around the GI tract. This is all the bowels. See all the weaknesses? The lacunas, and look at that thick white rope around the wall. And there again, thick in the stomach, and you got your classic brown malabsorption ring. Look how thick this white is. That is thick stagnation of sewage. This is all extreme acidosis. Because the eye should be blue. Look at the difference. Oh, in fact, dairy farmer, look at this one. Now, when you come to someone that knows what they're doing and you look like that, it's going to take us a while to fix you. Shouldn't get mad at us. Pretty interesting stuff, though, isn't it? I have always loved health because it's, it's a field that helps everybody. And our field particularly is so nice because we stand on truth. And nature has so many great tools to use. Pharmaceuticals needs to be on its way out. We still need a lot of them, but they need to be on their way out. And start trying to outdo us with herbal formulas. Remember Rexall drugs? You've heard of Rexall drugs, some of you guys. 
Out the front door goes the pharmaceuticals. Out the back door goes the herbal formulas and the homeopathic sprays and stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rexall has been making homeopathic sprays for years. These guys aren't stupid. Come on. All right. These are some new new questions. I've seen some pictures in here. It didn't look too good, so let's take a look at these. All right, this is from Tom. Oh, Tom Walsh. It reminds me of that Walsh guy that was on, uh, you know, the son got killed, and he had a, a uh, detective program like America's Most Wanted or something like that. Hi, I'm presently doing the Level 1 DVD course. My 8-year-old nephew has a profound speech problem since he first started to talk. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. He's a perfectly healthy child other than that. It looks like his tongue doesn't work properly, so that would be neurological. Unless, I mean, even even that, you could say, could have a twist lymphatically in terms of a blockage and impeding on the nervous system, or he's got weak, you know, weak, weak autonomic or whatever. It looks like his tongue, uh, yeah. sometimes he can be quite clear, but most times it is difficult to understand him. It's holding him back. Would I be right in suggesting the following for him? What would you suggest? Healthy circulation? Upper? Yeah! Oh, absolutely. Brain and nervous system tonic? Absolutely. And healthy pituitary? Tom, you got it down. Now, pituitary. He's only eight years old, so I would probably do this, Tom. I'd probably do the endocrine gland. That way, you're going to hit a little pituitary, a little thyroid, a little parathyroid, a little adrenal and probably pick up the uh, 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 thymus and others that we don't not sure totally about in terms of herbs for. Because when I look at all the berries, all the berries are the endocrine glands. So when you're eating blackberries and blueberries and saw palmetto berries and stuff, you're eating berries for the... Oh, people don't eat saw palmetto berries. But all these berries are great for the endocrine glands. How cool. So definitely, I'd have the child on fruits and berries. When you're talking about regeneration neurologically, you want your children or yourself on fruits and berries and melons, period. I'm telling you, I've had so much experience with neurological rebuilding, some in sensational cases that you just can't believe it's like that kind. But I've done it all on fruits, berries, and melons. Anytime I interject the vegetable kingdom, I get a blowback or a, a softening or a weakening of the, of the improvement. I don't, I don't get better. So it's funny to see how fruits, berries, and melons. And I was talking to this lady this morning. That every time they move her, they, they fracture her bones. And uh, she's all on the fruits, berries, feels better at that level. But I wanted to interject some green drinks. But that comes from old thinking in my part. Because I had a case here, cancer up here. They cut the jaw almost out of this guy. I grew this whole jaw back just on fruits, berries, and melons. And herbs, I grew the whole jaw back. So I, I, I don't know. You know, it's amazing. But I, I think the endocrine glands would be more proper for the eight-year-old. And I'll tell you, while you're doing this, hit the kidneys and the and make sure ones for the adrenals in there in the endocrine gland. Hit the kidneys. You never want to forget the kidneys, guys. And if you really want to hit him, get the lymphatic one, and a couple drops. You know, eight-year-old, you could probably give him five drops very easily. And that'll help clean the brain and the sinuses. But the upper circ, this time you got it right on. Upper circulation of brain and nerve. That's how I get into Alzheimer's, dementia. That's how we regenerate MS, Lou Gehrig's, Parkinson's. We're up there after brain lesions and things like this. Now, I don't know if the lad has any brain lesions. But if he's got thick lips here, you might try to pull his eyes. See if you can get your son's a picture of his eyes. Eight years old, you should be able to do that. Get a cell camera and all that. Boy, then you can look. i tell you what we decided to do. Drew's down for the week. So, uh, and I want him to keep working with Jen on moving this camera around. So we can take it to the house. We can do some things with it. Uh, let's, do a whole, let's do a whole video on eyes again. Because uh, Jen has been collecting eyes. So we'll do a whole video on eyes. That'd be fun. I love to do videos on eyes because it, anytime I can show you how easy it is to learn eye pictures and how easy it is, oh look, I see my pro and the degree of the problem. See, it's easy to, for me, it's easy to tell you what's causing the problem and where, but the degree of the problem is only seen in iridology, in my opinion. That's nothing else. MRIs and CAT scans, they show problem, but they don't show soft tissue. And that's where the iridology is, soft tissue analysis. 
So, and, and the condition of that tissue, the level of genetic weakness or strength of that tissue. So it's everything to to uh, man's uh, uh, a tool, let's say, to help man understand his weaknesses more and how to address them more. And people can claim whatever they want. Who cares what they claim? Tom, good man. You're getting it down, buddy. I would definitely on my son. Upper circ, brain and nerve. Uh, put, uh, I would do the endocrine glands, but i do a kidney and a lymphatic too. A return to Gen B. Okay. All right. I'll put that down there like that. Please return to Shannon. Oh, this is Christine Boyle. Hey, Christine Boyle. Hi, honey. All right. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. Dear Dr. Morris, it's been 19 months on your life-changing herbal fruit protocols. Oh, thanks, honey. Including the last seven months of intermittent dry fasting. See, that's what... I just think that's the missing key to get these kidneys to help filter more. I mean, when I look at you guys, Hilly just sent me another picture of a filtration from a dry fast. and was like, oh, wow. But you, you want to see that you, you're filtering even when you're not dry fasting and stuff. You want to be able to pee in the toilet normally and see that there's some chemistry in there. And that when you pee in the toilet for the men, of course, it's going to settle down toward the bottom. Ladies, obviously, you're not going to see, you know, but... I still have more uh, digging to do, but as you can see, I've made lots of great progress. Below are just several pics from my deep releases of my lymphatic colon sewage detox. Yeah, baby. I'm telling you, Christine has been kicking butt as far as I hear. I was born constipated in that sense. See, you got to realize, guys, this is no kick for moms. It's just that we got to start realizing mothers are donors to the children. We know genetically, big time. But what about lymphatically? See, that's the other hit. Because your blood and lymph system is your son's blood and lymph system and, or, or daughter's until you hatch them. And then they've got their own blood and lymph. That's So whatever the condition of the mother's lymphatic system is, is generally what I see coming out of the youngster. That's scary, you know. Because uh, it's just the way the world is. I was born constipated, constantly sick with colds, flus, pneumonias, anemia. Wow. Severe adrenal fatigue, brain fog, vertigo, migraines, rock hard neck, oh, uh, back and shoulder, uh, excruciating pain and inflammation, and many more debilitating symptoms. Holy crap. Christine, seeing my toxic mom suffer. Oh, see, that ain't that sad. I mean, I've got this big heart. And I see people suffer, I just can't stand it. Now, death, I have no problem with death. Because, remember, the other, I hate to use the word, cliche the other side is far higher and greater. You don't have the turmoil as much. But, seeing my toxic mom suffer and struggle till her last breath, oh, God, that's sad, you know? That said, but it left a big impression on Christine Boyle, and that made her turn around. I knew the allopathic way was a slow and painful death, so I decided to start seeking a natural way to heal my body. God led me to you, and here I stand, a level 1 and 2 ISOD grad. Healthier and happier than I've ever imagined. No more pain and suffering. Most days I can't feel my body. Yeah! That's where you want to be. You want to be so healthy. What body? Oh, 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 I got a body. I'm wearing a body. Eh, I didn't know it. That, that is good health. That is good health right there. And I'm the same way. I barely know I have a body. I got, oh, look, I got some arms, some legs. That means your body's like a fine-tuned machine out of Detroit, Michigan. Humming. Because you're burning the proper fuel, you've cleaned out all the obstructions, or you're working on it, and everything is starting to move and hum beautifully. <laughs> it might be doing the hue, even. The hue. All right. I'm able to think clearly, implement protocols, and help my family, friends, and clients get their lives back, too. Uh, isn't that good? I tell you, you guys are so good. I love you guys. Look at what you're doing to the world. You guys give yourself a big cyber hug. Hug, everybody, a cyber hug. Yep. 
Because this is what it's about. You've got mothers like this poor Claudette, and I understand that. But you've got to learn. You've got to learn what's up and why man's suffering so much. There's no more games out here. Pharmaceutical rules and the AMA took man almost to the brink of extinction. This is not from my words. This comes from the Turner Group. This comes from a lot of scientific data that this group put together showing the amount of deaths and all this wasn't good. Remember, by the year 2025, no more humans. Not true. A lot, a lot of raw food mamas and daddies out there, and these kids are the future, and they will have higher conscience. No more petty little games and demonstrating in the streets and all this kind of stuff, because it'll be a level of truth and honesty and integrity and dignity. People understand what's going on. I've never seen it so bad in my life. Never seen anything like this. But you see how, and this goes back to Tom. How it improved her comprehension of her, her ability to comprehend and interact. And I've seen this with so many children that are stunned with that, either from vaccines and things like that, with the thimerosal and the mercuries, and stunned their abilities because these are neurotoxins. And then, of course, look at the nerve rings from the weak adrenals and the low autonomics, and it's just on and on and on. So you guys are really, uh, you are the group. I hate to tell you, but you are the group. You know, you're going to get spinoffs of people that are going too deep, too fast, too strong. But you got to, when you introduce a new level, you're going to have people take it and experiment with it, and that's just the world at large. But those that keep it balanced and straight and forward, you'll carry this right on to the next life, and those coming to this planet from now on will be introduced to a level that can help them. Instead of going from one doctor after another doctor after another doctor, one pharmaceutical after another pharmaceutical. Just, see, people just talk about the deaths from pharmaceuticals. But there's a there's hundred times that, at least a hundred times that, if not a thousand times that, in harm that they do to the body. That's never talked about, just the, the harm that these pharmaceuticals do to the cells of the human body. Uh, it sounds like you're kicking butt, Christine. Of course, I know, Christine Boyle. Uh, all it took was self-love. You know, Christine, you bring up a good point. Self-love is not narcissistic. And self, true self-love comes when you pull yourself in the moment. You quit desiring and focusing outside of yourself for everything. And you just live in the present moment where all happiness and joy is. That is, that is loving yourself. Because at that point, you'll discover that there's only the one. Only the one. And there's only one way you can find the one. It's through your one. If you get what I'm saying, you'll get the door. You're the only true doorway. Remember what Jesus said? You're the light, but, you know, but you are the living truth. You're the one. Not physically. Mm -mm. You're talking about the infinite. You're talking about the formless. So there's a part of you that's infinite and formless. Because there's only the one. And there can't be, you know, the fact that there's life, death, and all that, that's totally illusionary. You know that, right? Only the body translates. You don't. You couldn't kill yourself if you wanted to. All, uh, educating myself with truth and believing that the body can and will heal on every level when we let it. The change in my eyes are proof that I'm cleaning and healing. You kick butt. I'm telling Christine Boyle gets five gold stars from me. And I'll give you an Oscar and I'll give you... <clears throat> Take a look at this, guys. Christine, holy crap. Whew. Massive. And look at your left eye. And how much your left eye, I, this is an amazing guy. you got to check this out. Check this out. This is good stuff. All right. <laughs> First, second, third. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at all this darkness in here, this chronic limp stagnation. Look. Look. Still got some skin, Christine. Still got a little to work on, but look at the difference. Look at this. These are great befores and afters. Great befores and afters. Oh, wait a minute, Christine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, honey. Your eyes are not supposed to change. 
Your eyes are not supposed to change. How come you're changing your eyes? That, that can't be. Remember, most iridologists are German iridologists. They think the eyes can never change. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Beautiful. Beautimus. Same camera. The, the light's the same. Same stuff. Encourageable, my dear. That's amazing. Friggin' amazing. You cleaned out so much chronic stuff. Now, it's funny you got a little look in the left eye, or the right eye, a little still in the bowels. Still got some lip nodes, a few here and there, on that uh, right side of the body. But look how black you were. That, that, that was a dominant, weak part of her body. I mean, take a look. Take a look at this top one. Look how bad. Can you see this as close as I can get it? Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. And look at this. Look at these dark areas. Look at this. And look at this. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. I mean, is that not cool? Come on. Yucky poop. There's a yucky. She got out. I mean, you understand that we are full of this stuff. All kinds of mucus globs of all colors. Because it's been in us since mom gave us the lymphatic issues and on. And since we made them worse ourselves. So, you know, there's all kinds of blobs and gobs. And, and these are very obstructive. And, of course, they're interstitial a lot of times. And, of course, the flow to blood, even to cells, are restricted to somewhat. Oh, urine. Urines. Urines. We've got filtrations. Look at the urines. I wonder if somebody visiting our site for the first time, you know, this big old, what? Urines and all kinds of stuff? Yeah, because this is an educational site. This is a teaching site. I want you guys to be the best healers this planet has ever seen. And it looks like you guys already are. Oh, Christine. Oh, look at that stuff. Look at that gnarly stuff. Now, we get tons of these pictures every day from you guys, so... This is just the tip of the iceberg. It's the stuff coming out. So, I'll say to Claudette's husband's wife, who is a medical doctor, what do you think? You see this stuff coming out of people? See, when you start getting these acids out, and this mucus and these globs, you start reducing pressures, and you start re returning proper hydration interstitially. So, the edema comes out. Fat is burned off, of course, and you see what you are, really what you are. See, and this is what a diet of cooked high proteins and cooked foods do to people, and have done to people for years. Oh, Christine cleaned thy ears and got a whole bunch of stuff. These are ear candles, and look at that, look at the stuff out of the ear candles. Yucky poo. You should always clean your ears out if you've never done that. I had a nurse down here. Oh, this is good too. Christine, you're paying attention. And this is reflective. Remember, your tongue is reflective of your GI tract. Take a look here. Look at all the cracks. Now look at her tongue. Mm-hmm. This is, this is a reflection of what her gut looks like. And then she's not showing the coating that can get on this tongue. Just try not eating for a meal and see how much coating you get on your tongue. Matter of fact, fast for a day and see how much coating you get on your tongue. And look at that. Nice. When you stop eating, you'll start getting that white coating. But in some people, it turns nasty green-brown. You know why? That is the condition of your lymphatic system in your gut. And when you see a very brown tongue, that is the condition. And you have some people take tongue scrapers, scrape their tongue. That's lymph. That's not blood. That's lymph. And that is acidic. And that stuff has to come out of the body. And it gets all through the guts. But you can see that even her tongue has straightened up. Christine, you kicked it. That's all I can say is Christine kicked it. Kicked it, kicked it, kicked it. And a lot of you guys are kicking it. And I'm proud of you for doing it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ugh. 
Uh, hi, Dr. Morris. Here are some picture of an infected wound from Thailand last year. It was a minor motorbike accident which caused the wound that got out of hand due to a lack of knowledge about top, tropical temperatures with open wounds. Not just that, but also the tropical diets that are not the proper tropical diets. Because see, when you start talking about tropical temperatures, you're talking, talking about acid zones. But you're also talking about if they're not following the fruit diets, then they're eating probably acidically. So when you're acid on top of acid, everything involved in your in your uh, environment is acidic. What's going to your body going to become? Acidic. Yeah, because you can't become the other side because you have you're not introducing the other side of chemistry. If you are, you're doing it through the Cook's chain, which then breaks down the electromagnetic charges and also creates a glomulation, which is probably a loss of electrons and everything else with that as well. Uh, and the and the uh, stubbornness to stay away from hospitals. My friend had a splinter pulled out in the Thai hospital. After the infection, they extracted the splinter and gave him four types of drugs to take. I bet uh, he declined them all and lived to tell the tale. Well, just you know, they've got people so scared. If you don't take antibiotics, if you have what they call an infection and all that stuff, do you realize that? Bacteria is there to clean up your infection. Bacteria doesn't cause infections. They clean up infections. That's what their job is. It's the same job as if some of you ladies that have real bad, bad breasts, we should have megatherapy. I mean, that's the savior for some of these breasts that we're seeing that are so bad. It's megatherapy. I tried to get megatherapy. Oh, it's on the news. Oh, yeah, megatherapy. Really? Try getting it. They may, you call these hospitals up and they make you sound like you're some weirdo. And it's like, it's on TV. Because that's what God made is cleansers, little cleansers in nature. We mistaken the bacteria present because medical doctors didn't understand that most of the problem is lymphatic, sewage, acids, and that they're just there present because of that. They're secondary to the problem. They're 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 an effect of the problem. They're not the cause of the problem. And because medical doctors twisted that, we treat with high antibiotics. Well, then you just screwed up your internal condition with bacteria because a lot of vitamins come to you through bacterium. A lot of essential vitamins, including what? Was it the B12 I was talking about or something? All right. Uh... He was bed bound for five to six weeks with constant pressure to take antibiotics from friends. It, all right, so let me show you this because this ain't nothing. I don't know why everybody's going over this because that ain't nothing. Listen, that ain't nothing to what we see here. That, that, that's a piece of cake. That ain't nothing. But. Looks like he scraped his little toto too. Uh, okay, constant pressure to take antibiotics from friends, delivery, delivery fruit. I missed my flight home and my visa ran out, so I was forced to leave the country with no support due to not taking medical advice or antibiotics. My insurance was void for the same reason. It's funny how they get you, like, isn't it? You know. That, that takes those cruel minds that run governments to come up with crap like this and to do that. I know, I know how it is. It, they've got, they, they try to lock everything down. It's like you, you have, it's mandatory to give your dog rabies shots. You can't even, a lot of these hair groomers, you can't only take your dog to get groomed because where's these rabies shots? And you have an indoor house dog, like a little chihuahua or something, bull crap. Uh... Uh, that's a whole other side. Sorry. Okay. During the time of infection, just five minutes after I consumed anything acidic, including nuts, uh, uh, keiko, uh, kefir, oh, uh, well, kefir, you know, to do kefir, I mean, might as well just drink that out of a teat of a cow. I mean, what's the difference? Kefir yogurt? I mean, it's all nasty. It's all emphatically suppressing and congesting big time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No wonder a wound can't heal eating these things. Let's see what else. Uh, let's see. Uh, kombucha. Yeah, you had some kombucha after you had the kefir and the 
uh, and the usual a a a suspects of acid food. I was in excruciating pain. This was eight months ago, and although the area looks healed, if I create an acidic environment in my body, including stress, the area is likely prickly heat and very painful. Before I go on here, who is this? Tom? Is this Tom? It says Tom, I think. Tom, it's not healed. And you know it, you can feel it. It's not healed. And that's what I'm talking about. When you go even years later, and you go into detoxification the right way, if Tom just didn't do anything else and just ate the standard way and, and, and later on decided to get healthy, and he turned it around, he started eating the raw and detoxing, he's going to have a healing crisis in that foot. And it could look just the same that it looks. It could come out, look red and blister and break apart. That's because you haven't healed it the right way, Tom. And so you, you, you have to realize healing is internal. Healing is from the inside out, not the outside in. I, we, we work on these decubitus, but truly, that's a big bed source. But tr- and you can pack them with healing clays and everything, or, or, or herbs and everything else, but salves and stuff. But in reality, the healing has to be internal. You have to remove, just like you said, Tom, you have to remove the acidosis. Because Tom is experiencing acid on top of acid. And when you have areas that haven't healed because they're too acidic, and you haven't, they've sorry, pseudo-healed, when you eat acid foods like Tom is, he feels it. Because it's acid on top of acid. Well, that same philosophy is what oncologists are using. Acid on top of acid. And that's why so many people die from it. Such a beautiful thing. I'd like to mention that uh, Keiko is very acidic. Oh, yeah. I'm two years uh, detoxing and quite sensitive. Many people in the health industry use uh, Keiko for desserts and raw chocolate. I know. A better alternative would be carob. I used to ca- sell carob pods in my store. We got so bad in the raw that we tried eating carob pods. Oh, Try eating a carob pod, a dried carob pod. Ah! <laughs> That's how bad we got one time. Ugh! But, yeah, I'm surprised they don't use carob. I, I feel the same way in a way, you know. But, you know, well, who am I? Uh, the kinkle powder is more acidic due to the fat being removed in the process. Maybe grinding the uh, nubs would be better. Anyway, it was a rough ride. I went through some tests on all levels, but it doesn't sound like you're through it. Sounds like you need to dig in and detoxify. So what system would he have to do to fix this? Remember, this system is involved in cleaning, healing, uh, damage, not just sewage removal, healing trauma, not just blood involved. Somebody has to carry the damaged cells and stuff away, and blood ain't going to do that. So who else does that? Who's 80% of interstitial fluid? Thank you. The lymph system. That makes sense? Total sense. You don't dump trash in the kitchen. Uh-uh. You gotta keep the kitchen clean. That that food has to be good for the cells. Uh, or more importantly, I would give to in to the negative forces. I learned a lot. I didn't have access to herbs, so I, yeah, that's too bad. Because had you had access to herbs, you could super heal that quicker. So what herbs would you use on something like that? Well, topically, I would use our burn skin salve or the heal-all salve. Internally, you could use the heal-all herbs, or I'd go after kidneys, lymphatics, adrenals, and go after that system, because if you're slow to heal, we got a problem, don't we? And where's that problem? Lymphatic. You're too acidic. Remember, when you cut yourself, you shouldn't feel it, it shouldn't bleed, and you should be gone the next day or two. That's if you're in optimum health. Ask Arnold Harris in his books, too. I've experienced it. A lot of you have told me you've experienced it. This is good stuff for medical doctors. They need to have our field as a research project so they can learn how we're, what we're doing and how they can do it too. Hmm. Let's see. I didn't have excellent herbs. I used fruit and all the natural antibiotic property foods. You know, actually, you right on here, Tom. Uh, actually, raw foods are antiparasitic. be honest with you. So I don't know why people bitch about that. Oh, all your fruits, berries, and melons, they'll kick out any worm out of the body. So, you know, they in themselves, I like to go for the go, though. Uh, most importantly, a natural poultice. Yeah, natural poultice. Well, you can you can bruise any good 
Well, you said you didn't have any herbs at all? Because you could brew some herbs and just put a poultice out of that. But you could brew some greens. You could brew that, do some greens, chlorophyll, rich greens, and then make a poultice on that. There's some drawing power in the darker, 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 darker greens. Uh, it's a long story, but the important part is that I made it through naturally applying the laws of nature and what you teach. A big thank you uh, to Marcy for her advice and Shannon for all she does. You have a great team. Uh, thank you. I tell them all the time they're great, too. You know. Let's see what else. Okay. Ooh, we got more picks. More picks on the way to healing. All right. See how your foot's swollen? See, your lymph system isn't moving well in your feet. See how swollen that foot is of his? It's not just the trauma. It's the inability of the body to remove that, so edema is settled in there a little bit. Uh, remember, water is a universal solvent. So you're looking at things to help the body try to break up this stuff and then carry it away. But what if your kidneys aren't filtering? And that comes in the crux of the problem. That's why when you're on these high alkaline programs, I just call them alkaline, but you know they're they're balanced chemistry, not all alkaline. I mean, there's not all alkaline fruit. There's not all alkaline anything. It's balanced chemistry with a dominance on the base side. That's that's the nature of the air. That's the nature of what we have to have to live. I've said this many times before. We couldn't live in a 50-50 acidic uh, base climate. It has to be base dominant. So I can see the edema out of that lag. But you're still feeling it. And I'm telling you, it's not healed. Might look healed. But she's not healed. And that tells you immediately Tom's kidney on that side isn't filtering well. And he's not, that should have been long healed. Long healed. Oh, on its way to healing. See, almost gone. Well, is it? See, that's someone once said something about, you know, all these people look so beautiful on the outside. How can they be so problematic on the inside? Talking about iris analysis one time, and I was talking about what this person had. This person said, well, that's a bunch of crap, because look how good they look on the outside. I said, all you have to do is de-skin you, de-skin people and see what you see. But he's still feeling that there. He's still feeling the burning in there. And it's just taking, for me, it just shows high acidosis and an inability to filter. But Tom, you did a good job, but dig in now. Really get in there and make that thing heal again because I have a feeling you're going to feel it again when you get deeper into detoxification. Leave off the kefirs and the nuts and the cocoa powder and all that crap. This is Macy. It just slipped from underneath, Macy. Must mean you need to know this now. Good morning. I have a history of abnormal paps, pap smears. I had another pap completed a month ago, and it was also abnormal, and I was given a referral for ultrasound for suspected fibroids. All right, so let's stop right there. This is the reason I invented the Heal All Tea is because of this. Because one of my clients, it wasn't just because of her, but one of my clients was the granddaughter of the man who invented the pap smear, Dr. Pap, whatever it is, in Greece. And uh, I've told you about her before. Famous artist. She had some cervical cancer stuff, and we cleaned that all up anyway. Uh, I went on the road with her, uh, teaching others how to do this, but there was three other medical doctors, and they were teaching partial hysterectomies and stuff like that. I was the only one, how do you cure this stuff? Turns out my, my uh, lining was 18 uh, millimeters, cysts were present, and a repeat ultrasound was requested. I then began to take the reproductive capsules, and my next period was very heavy. Results of this ultrasound showed my lining at 8 mm normal. I have now been referred to a gyno for further investigation. Please advise. Macy, this is easy. This is just, don't, don't, don't let them run you around and hurt you. Okay, this is just your lymphatics. Again, a broken record. This is your lymphatic system. This is what thickens the wall of everything, swells it up, cysts, 
What system would cysts come from? A fluid-based system, right? Cysts don't come from cells. It's a fluid-based... Okay, so there's only two. Does a cyst look like a blood clot? The lymph system. This is all lymphatic. So what you're doing is you're converting your cells vaginally. So you get on the heel all T for two weeks, one time a night, <coughs> excuse me, and douche. Get in the bathtub, lift your hips, get a douche bottle or whatever back and insert, but make do it with the heel all T. Now, that'll convert these cells back. But you want to dig into your lymphatic system. This is a problem uh, vaginally. And it could be in the uterine too if you're getting fibroids and stuff or just cysts. So you want to get the kidneys filtering, honey. You want to get your adrenals up and your kidneys because the uterus is like a prostate. It is the effect of the kidneys. All these tissues in the body are an effect of the prostate or of the kidneys. And that you have to go back and look at that. You've got to get yourself filtering because you'll keep convert you'll keep converting these cells. You can clean with the heel RT and it'll draw and it'll reconvert and these cells will get healthy cells again. But you got to go internally and fix this. And something about the heavy periods, hmm, interesting. Might want to look at your pituitary thyroid parathyroid adrenal matrix and look at that. But I would be getting up on my kidneys, uh, uh, kidney formulas, and my adrenal formulas. Get my bowels cleaned up. You know, just clean your body out really good. Get your kidneys filtering. That'll correct future conversions. And any cells that are atypical now will convert back. I've, I've never seen a lady that couldn't do that. So you don't be running around with these people that don't know where to take you uh, and have nothing for you. You want to realize what's going on in, in not only in the vaginal area. So it's suggestive that your lymph system is probably systemically involved. So again, take a picture of your eyes and take a look at it. It'll show you your vaginal area, whether you have any genetic weaknesses on the wall. Because when you keep having a lot of atypical cells, it's a real possibility you have some genetic weaknesses on the vaginal wall. And that, of course, actually makes the lymph even sluggish or, or more sluggish, as maybe proper English would be, and then um, um, that could be a problem. So um, you want to take care of this. And the adrenals have a direct influence, of course, with the estrogen and progesterones, um, even just from the adrenal viewpoint. So that's what I'd be doing, for sure. I've had thousands of those cases through the years. More pictures. Oh, wow. Okay, notice that we're just seeing a whole bunch of skin things. Oh, please address again. I knew I'd, I knew I'd seen these pictures. I hardly forget anything. My, I'm kind of like an elephant up here. Except names. I don't remember names. Because I don't care what your name is. When I look at you, I look through you. I, I look through who you really are. I don't look at your... I look at the physical body, but I, I want to know who I'm looking at. I want to know who you are. All right, welts. Welts. It says not complete. Oh, okay. All right. Video skips on this. Question and doesn't finish. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, yeah. I knew I'd addressed this before. I knew I did, Sarah. Yeah. Here's the old pics. Yeah. Here's the old pics. You gave me a picture of your eye. Okay. All right, guys. This is Sarah's eye. I don't know how close I can get in here to you. Right around here is orange and thick lymph. This is all GI tract. So she has a festering acidosis, candida because of the sulfur, the irritation, gassy, bloaty because of the sulfur. You can kind of see that when you look at her abdominal pictures. Her skin is down. You see she has a skin ring. The skin ring is this outer dark ring around the outside. 
It looks like you've got some iodine deposits in there too, dear one. You got a couple of different drugs in there. Let's see. Yeah, this is the right eye though. So I see a groin. I don't see much of a kidney. I've got a lot of a kidney there, but I can't see too much there. Skin's down, heavy congestion, subacute, that's yellow, and the GI tract, heavy lymph. They got the brown malabsorption ring, all of that, but it's hard for me to see the rest of you. It's enough to say that genetically wise, you have a little bit of a weak skin, not real bad, but that's all lymphatic problems. This is all lymphatic problems. That's all it is. And once you get your kidneys to filter, sweetheart, and, 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 and your adrenals up and all that, you'll filter well. But I tell you, it looks like you've got some pretty dang good genes. I can't see well. Uh, maybe something liver-wise. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe pancreatic as well. You know, you just have to get a good picture of your eyes here. But all of those welts and things, that's, that's all lymphatic stuff. But it could be connected to the nervous system and stuff. I mean, sometimes, you know, all this is so interconnected that... You get a little anxiety, that trips up the autonomic, and that trips up the uh, 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 lymph system, and you know, sometimes you get tripped up and you get an expression. But clean your lymph system, sweetheart, and you'll do well. You'll do well. But you've got to clean your bowels. You've got to get this, because you're malabsorbed, sweetie, and you'll be one of those real thin people. But you have, I can't see the stomach well. It looks like it's really dark, so you can be careful with your stomach, honey. And uh, really get that cleaned out, that lymph cleaned out. You should see a lot of mucus coming out of your stools, the orange sulfur could come out of your stools, that sort of thing. But that's the only thing I can, it's the same thing. She says, I'm 25 year old female with a 10 year history of bulimia, nervosa. Nervous, uh, switching to a raw vegan diet has literally saved my life. You know, and, and that's what I say about all these the bulimia is the anorexic and stuff. Changing to a raw food diet is the savior for everyone because it brings stability to the body, balance to the body, a healthy looking body. It brings balance to the mind and emotions, healthy mind and emotions. So it's a cat's meow. But shouldn't it? I mean, we're talking about something that should be standard issue. When you get to the planet, we're homo sapiens, we're islanders, you should be introduced to fruit shortly after you're born. Go on mother for a little bit. Mothers are raw foodists, so the milk is super good. You get what you need out of the lipid buildup as you need, and then off you go. Off into the fruits, and then you become extremely strong and extremely awake. That is the future. And it's not far away if man keeps going that way. Uh, I have gained weight and have been maintaining it for a while, but no matter what I do, I can't lose weight. And that's your adrenals. I can just tell you that's your adrenals. And just get a lot of this acidosis out of you, because a lot of what you're carrying is edema. You can see it in your skin, but you can also see it in you. So, but you've got lymph stagnation at, on top of a little weak skin. So you just make sure your thyroid is up where you can sweat well. And again, it could look worse when you start sweating. But you want to open the doors to this. Let me see here. Uh, gain weight, but no matter what I do, I can't lose weight. Try tie, tire around my stomach. Well, that's your adrenal glands, honey. I know I saw it. It's not really bad. Uh, I am assuming it has to do with my thyroid gland. Nah, nah, I don't think so. I think that tire... Not much of a tire. Come on. It's your adrenals. Uh, but you could have some thyroid, I'm going to tell you, because your skin's down. That's not just from the redness, it's from the eyes show weakness. This redness is not about weakness, that's about acids. But the, uh, the weakness of the skin. And you know, it's funny, your skin looks nice. But it's weak genetically. It's funny, sometimes you can't see genetic weaknesses, right? Right. So when you get an x-ray or something, you can see genetic weaknesses. Of course you can't. The eyes are the windows, remember? Uh, about three weeks ago, I did a watermelon fast for about a week, then started taking black walnut and wormwood to, to all. If I had parasites, I would have anyway, because I know you're full of fungus. You, you don't have eyes like that and not be full of fungus. You have blue eyes and they're green with heavy lip stagnation in the pupil. They're blue. So you have a lot, and a sulfur, always heavy fungus. 
uh, had been taking that for two weeks on the beginning of the second week, I, I, awarded, ta- I awarded taking a lymphatic cleanse formula and, and resulted in the rash on the pickers attached. Yep. <clears throat> okay, so that's just another thing to tell you that this is really just proper. I mean, this is just detoxification. And these are just, I don't want to use the word healing crisis because really you could say a little healing crisis, but it's not really. I mean, it's just the body kicking the crap out. So I, I see nothing unusual with that myself. I see these every day of the week. So I really don't see anything unusual, honey. But with those eyes of yours, uh, I am super itchy. That's a, that's, a, that's a fungus. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, with that, uh, the sulfurs. Now, the guy that, that uh, has been pushing the sulfur supplements has invited me on his show. I've already talked to this guy on other shows, and I just have nothing to say. I, you have nothing you can say or show me that will convince me sulfur is good for you. Now, I don't recommend an isolate of calcium, let alone an isolate of sulfur, and I would never recommend sulfur. I'd always recommend an isolate of calcium before I'd recommend an isolate of sulfur. Holy crap. The sulfur, what you guys have to go through getting the sulfur out of you? See, when you isolate... That changes the whole story of things. And yeah, you can suppress symptoms with sulfur. You can suppress symptoms with sulfur. I am super itchy and nothing seems to, to be helping. Now, there are itch creams. There are stuff. Um, chickweed is a, for itching. And, you know, there's, a, there's itch salves on the market because it's a common thing. I take Parasitem about a dropper and a half, two dropper fulls for two weeks straight. Pretty hard, three times, four times a day. Absolutely. But, 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 huge but, move your sewer system with it. You'll be, you'll be more, um, you'll get a better, a better cleaning by that. Because they're in your sewer system big time, so you've got to clean that sewer system. That's your lymphatic system, see? Nothing seems to be helping. I'm itching till it bleeds. Mm -hmm. Very aware of it. I think I was commenting on a uh, female farmer down here in Naples. That poor thing just itched so bad. I felt so sorry for her. But it's one of our side effects that we try to find something to help people with because it's a side effect of proper detoxification. You're going to start pulling the fungus out. The acids are going to start coming out. And sometimes this is not a pleasant journey, especially if you're skin involved. You can itch till it bleeds. Just itch and itch. And then it feels so good when, it, when it's itching and it's bleeding. Oh, it's just... That's heavy fungus. I've tried essential oils, dry fasting, drinking lots of water, etc. I started taking kidney herbs, corn silk. No, kidney herb, kidney formulas. I wouldn't just take corn silk. That's a, just a diuretic. You want a kidney formula for regeneration and a bowel formula to keep new moving, to keep you moving. But you want GI brooms. I mean, you want to really get up and do the detoxification proper, Hunter. Just get up and do the detoxification proper. Find the first kid if you can afford it. You know, the first kid, get that rhythm down, and you're off. Or, or aberrant that and go, go to the Fab Five or something, but go after that GI tract, go after those kidney filtration, and go after the lymphatic system. That's where you're suffering is the lymphatic system. Your skin is a major eliminative organ of that system. And you show some genetic weaknesses there. Not a lot, but some. So that on top of lymph stagnation. But you're not bad, bad. Uh, moving, but still nothing. I'm an, a user itchy, and it keeps me up at night. How long will this last? I know. I know. Get to the health food store or call the, the club's uh, pharmacy here and see what they got for itching. But it's a problem, and it's a universal problem. We all go through that. Different levels, different people differently. But when you have skin weaknesses and subcutaneous uh, buildup, that's, you know, your deeper layer of the skin. When you start cleaning, it, it's all going to go out. So you could see a little expression like that. But it's not the herbs doing it. It's your body that has the problem. See, that's what people are ready to jump on things sometimes. I know you weren't, but I'm just saying. There are those out there that have that kind of brain power. <laughs> Uh, not realizing that they are the ones with the problem. The herbs are just trying to get rid of it for them. And the herbs just don't blow it away into fairy dust. 
you know, there's a, there's a pathway to things here. And that's what we're trying to teach you is the pathway of eliminating these acids and fungus and crap like that that we get full of. Because our society teaches the wrong way of being healthy. But, um, yeah, you've got uh, heavy lymph stagnation in the gut there. Malabsorption big time. So you're one of the ones, believe it or not, could get real skinny. And uh, it's just, it's just, you've got to fix your lymph system. That's all this is. See it all the time, sweetie. See it all the time. Okay. I'm glad we got you addressed that. But don't freak out. It'll pass. It will pass. This shall too shall pass. That's funny. Please address again. Video skips. Holy crap. I wonder what happened. All right. What's this? This is uh, Rihanna. Rihanna. I love your diamonds in the sky. Please, please guide me. My uncle has last, late last stage stomach cancer spread through his whole body, lives in Pakistan. The hospital sent him home to die. I am a holistic person and agree with many things you say and suggest. All right, so here's the thing. Stomach cancer, and I've said this before, and we're going to only use the word cancer because they made it so that, you know, I could say stomach decay, but you wouldn't get the same impact with it. You know, so we'll use their word. Stomach cancer. These, these, these areas of decay are fairly easy to fix. I'm going to say easy, but the stomach tissue is regeneratable pretty, pretty easy. A lot better than some other tissues. So um, uh, the fact that it hasn't spread. Yeah, that, that word spread is a medical term. That makes you think that your body's doing this instead of their chemo. But this is, uh, and that's only because they don't understand the lymph system. But the lymph system is systemic. So when you when you're involved in a lymphatic problem, so you know this stomach cancer was caused by the lymph system. It wasn't just a hydrochloric acid burning the stomach wall. This was a lymphatic problem, and 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 you can see that because it's systemic. He's popping hot places all over the place. So it doesn't mean he's down and out, but it means you should have him on immediately. You should have had him on a great fast. And I would do grapes and another fruit, maybe grapes and lemons, and fast him for 30, 40 days with it, at least 20. And you throw in anything if you want here and there, but uh, I'd be down, down that road. Dark, rich, robust grapes. I remember reading this now. I, am, uh, I told his doctor to give him only grape juice, and then I also told her to give him baking soda with honey. I saw that on your YouTube. She did this twice yesterday and today, but after he drank that cup of baking soda, he is in so much pain, he cannot move or talk out of weakness. He only lies in the bed. Yeah, well, when you tell him to do something like that, you have to know what you're doing. When you do baking soda, you just do a little, 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 little bit, just a pinch of it. It's just to bring alkalization. Your medical doctor, her med his medical doctor should have known that. Too much baking soda is not good. Too much of anything is not good. Too much of either side of the chemistry is not good. That's the problem. We go packing on either side. But the grape fast is important. I wouldn't do the uh, bicarbonate. What should we do? Continue with baking soda? No. Or not be, or not be, he is so weak near dead in grape juice enough for him. He, when you're at this late stage, don't try to do this with just fruit. Because I'm sure that would be tough for him to make it just on a fruit. You want to support his kidney function because that's what begins to fail in him. So you want to support the kidney function and kidney filtration. You have to support his adrenal glands because of the kidney and the kidney filtration. 
and you have to support his adrenal glands because he's going to get fatigued if you don't because the adrenal glands are always involved and what happens is low blood pressure is what you see naturally because that the adrenals are involved a hypo condition of the adrenal glands is going to lead you into low neurotransmitters and low steroid production therefore the stats you're going to see is low and especially blood pressures anything below 120 is low blood pressure now 117 as we talk that's not too bad I've been 118 most of my life but when you get down to the uh, 90s and 80s uh, serious stuff I don't like any of that but it is food or the fruits or the herbs that does that that's his own genetic weaknesses and bodies that does that or anybody's so you have to fix these things when you got a guy near death like this I hit him with herbs like crazy are you kidding you just sit there and just do this with fruit you want to get the herbs you got to get his support his kidneys get his kidneys filtering get the adrenals up get his endocrine glands up you know this medical doctor needs to try to find some herbs or something if he she's into that sort of thing Pakistani I don't know but get focused on that and get this guy up and it's a possible but the bicarbonate is just to bring alkalization. It is called the fast track alkalizer, but you only use a pinch or a half a teaspoon or whatever. Why he went into pain with all that, I don't know. Uh, but you've got to support him with, uh, with uh, uh, herbs, herbs for the kidneys, herbs for the adrenals, and maybe even a glandular. I hate that with stomach cancer, though. No. Uh, but herbs for the for the and, and, and add hitchhike licorice root, definitely. It's an anti-inflammatory to begin with. It's an antacid. It's an it's a nice for blood sugars, but it's also a great neurotransmitter enhancer. And that'll wake him up. And that's what you want to do. Get him awake. Keep him awake. Keep those fruit juices running through him. And at the same time, use herbs to clean and open and filter. That's what I'd be doing. And I wouldn't wait. Wouldn't wait. I don't know how so many of these skipped. Nothing on video. Wow. Video skips. Wow. Okay. So let's go over this one because I remember this one. And this had to be the one one of the ones that didn't come up on there, huh? This is Maria. I had a stroke when I was 10 months old. God. <laughs> I hope it's not a tearjerker. <clears throat> I could tell you my life thus far was hard. Yeah. And I could imagine it too. But really, it, was, it hasn't been. Oh, that's good. My parents did everything in their power to have me lead a normal life. I got into college of my choice, studied abroad in Australia. My friends, you get the picture. Nothing has stood in my way until now. Well, well, let's just remove whatever that is, Maria. You sound like a heck of a woman, a warrior woman. You won't be ran over. I like that. Three years ago, I was feeling lightheaded, pressure in my eye, with a visual abnormally sharp, pains every five to ten minutes and had trouble breathing off and on and then it became permanent oh oh my god I kept a positive light for a year and a half using positive thinking meditation believing the doctors would figure it out right uh, uh, for two years I went from doctor to doctor getting no relief and no answer my primary care physician decided to diagnose me with anxiety oh my God, I remember reading this. Which, you know, I got to think that being a medical doctor has got to be extremely frustrating with clients like you. Especially if you don't know about the lymphatic system and all that that implies. You're going to go, I don't know what's wrong with her. Your blood pressure's good. So where could this come from? Edema? Lymph pressure, the worst kind of pressure, the glaucomic pressure, the same region you stroked. Damn. 
I, uh, yeah, I remember this. Uh, like nothing exactly, which led to other doctors reading her notes and not even bothering to listen to what I had to say. I've seen that before. <laughs> which then gave me anxiety along with my other undiagnosed symptoms. Even my friends and family started to think it was anxiety. My frustration was beyond words. I can believe it. I, I slept two to three hours and uh, <laughs> uh, cried five times a day, stopped going out with my friends. I fell into a deep depression and there was no more positivity. Well, that's depressing. Damn. Finally, a stroke specialist found the source of the problem to be my neck. I had severe nerve inflammation and all these symptoms on the non-stroke side. All right. So let's read this again. I had severe nerve inflammation. All right. All right. So you had nerve swelling. All right. What system in your body could you say with what you know now, Marie? What system causes swelling of everything? Nerves, doesn't matter. Everything. What system? The lymphatic system. Now, what side of chemistry causes those type of symptoms? Acid side. So there's your answer. It's the acid side of chemistry. It's the lymphatic system. Sounds like you're stagnant systemically. Bored with weak kidneys and adrenals, lymphatically from your mama, and you don't know about the parathyroid gland, which can make things a little spastic. So with a little low calcium utilization, you could have a spasming of a nerve and go into a stroke. There are spastic strokes, uh, uh, blood strokes, uh, you, you know, there's different types. However, I realized after reflecting back on when all this started, these symptoms would appear off and on exactly 10 days after I received Botox injections. Oh my God. Into the third round of injections when it became permanent. I did not find this as a coincidence. Oh no, not a coincidence. Plus, what the hell are you doing doing Botox? I mean, this is botulism. This is, I mean, this is insanity. In Science News, or one of the news is they were talking about, now they're using uh, botul uh, the Botox treatment for everything. Paralyzes your nerves, everything. This is in freaking insanity stuff to me. This is for, these are for worlds that are the underground, where it's dirty and dark and stinky. That's what the medical world is. Dirty, dark, and stinky. You know, when you've come up with crap like this and hurt people like this. All right. God. I feel as if the Botox triggered something. Well, of course. Uh, on top of this and at, on top of that, but and on top of lymphatic stagnation, and you're adding in a uh, form of botulism, a form of extreme toxemia that actually deadens the nerves. Oh, God. I don't know what people are thinking out there, guys. No offense, Maria. On top of this, my symptoms were getting worse drinking alcohol, taking antibiotics, uh, uh, Benadryl, or something as simple as B12 vitamins or even herbs. I have become sensitive to anything. Yep. Mm-hmm. I put in my body. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I had taken two years to find the source of the problem, and I don't know how long it will take to get me back to normal. Well, I suggest that you start now. Uh, I am er even unsure if there is an underlying cause no one has found yet. Honey, there's only one underlying cause to your problem, and that's your genetic weaknesses along with your lymphatic stagnation. Those are the only two things that causes our problems. It's the springboard of them all. That's how you start out. You start out gen genetically compromised and lymphatically compromised. There's very few people born that is not lymphatically compromised in today's world. Few, but not a lot. Not a lot. So far, I've tried orthopedic massage, physical therapy, myofascial release, but you're not focusing on the system in your body that makes you hard, swollen, deterioration, spastic, and all those things above. 
and occlusive and everything else. It's a lymphatic system. You've talked done everything else but address the system of the cause. None of this is the cause. I mean, these are all nice things. <laughs> Acupuncture, cortisol, cortisone injections, dry needling, yoga, dry needling, yoga, dietary changes, candida, whole 30, pa paleo. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you opened this door because you've opened all these other doors and notice how they didn't work. None of these focus on the problems of people, real causes of people's problems. Subconscious uh, uh, release therapy, the body emotional code, meditation, hypnosis, neurophyto, no, neuro prolotherapy, Ayurvedic medicine, a nerve block has state. Oh. No, ablation? You're not going to do that, are you? A nerve block has stabilized my vision and a round of pregnazone completely healed my breathing issues. No, it didn't. No, it didn't completely heal them, honey. Oh, no. Not pregnazone. No, 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 no. You're living in dream world. You're living in dream world. No, 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 no. It only increased your, a, a pseudo increase of adrenals where you thought, oh, no, no, no. you got to go and work on your adrenals and neurotransmitter increasing. And that would just be part of why you're short of breath. Oh, my God. Uh, both improvements I am grateful for, but after yoga, the pain spread to my arm and leg and everything is just worse. Excuse me. I am running out of faith and, quite frankly, money. Quit spending it. Get focused. You're here at this site. This is a healing site, a training site. Learn, learn what's up. Learn what system's causing your problems. Learn why and how you got to do to fix this stuff. All right? Uh, I have become very hard on myself for not uh, taking care of my body. Well, you've been trying, honey. Listen, no matter how tough I get, you've all been trying. Now, you live in this world, and this world is a a dissemination of misinformation. This is why the current administration is going through what it's going through and why the news media has to quit lying so much. You know, this news media we have in America has gotten so corrupt, it's a cut political. And I don't turn on the news to hear politicians and, and the political side. Of I could care less. I want to hear the news of the world. What's going on? What scientific studies? What, what's going on here and there? And so everything's political and opinionated. So you don't know what's truth anymore. BBC News is probably more accurate, probably the most accurate news probably now. But even Fox, I watch Fox News here and there, and once in a while you'll see fair and balanced. How about honest? I like honest, don't you guys? Honest. What's honest? What's truth? You know, governments hide everything from its people. How about being honest with the people? What about being just one of the folk? No matter who you are, just be one of the folk. I'm running out of let's see here. Let's see, all I know is I need to recover 100% this year. It is not an option for me to continue living in this physical pain. It is worse than the stroke. I know I mentioned in my email I was sensitive to herbs, but I'm hoping you can give me any further information. I am broke and in so much pain, going to work and living day to day in a constant struggle. I'm hoping you can assist me in some way. I know this is not permanent. I just don't know how to heal my body. All right. Um, I'll have Megan call in touch with you. Unless you want to try to give her a call now. You want to give her a call on the YouTube, guys? Oh, this is a referral from Andre. You want me to... Uh, it's 4 o'clock, and I've got to stop in a minute here. Uh, let me read. Well, you know what? Let me see. Is this out of country? Doesn't sound like it. You want to just for the fun of it?
Oh no. This is Dr. Morse. Uh, doing a video around your uh, request here. I'm sorry that it got lost on the other video. I don't know what happened to the other video, but I thought I'd call you uh, live on YouTube. So I will be talking to you. I'll have Megan give you a call, honey. But uh, your answers are addressed on the YouTube video that's going out probably in uh, the next day or two. Thank you. One day we'll get a live person on there. This I wanted to address this one. Hello, I'm wondering what is going on in my body because it has been almost two years. I ate only raw with lots of fruits and I did not have my period during all this time. Now some events happened and since about one month I had to eat cooked food and I get back my period. How can we explain this? What does that mean? Thank you for your help. Wish you an amazing year. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. <coughs> Man, I got some mucus today. It is common, and I've said this before, that, that the real neat thing for a lady on these programs and to get healthy is to realize her monthly cycles do not have to be a nightmare. That her monthly cycles can just be spotty, if at all. Now, a lot of times when you go on a detoxification program, it's true, your monthly cycle stop for a little while while the body's focusing on cleaning itself. It does that for some odd reason. Maybe it's an energetic thing. Who knows? It's enough to say, though, in a clean woman, you shouldn't have any a very uh, heavy of a bleeding at all. It should just be spotty. Uh, you know, just, I've just seen this in a lot of females that are very healthy. They, their periods are very small, maybe three days and very small. But if you're having that problem, an irregular menses, and then it stopped during that, I want you to look at your pituitary gland. Because the pituitary would be at the heart of that problem, and you'd want to look at that because that could keep you from holding term wise, it could actually keep you from uh, conceiving. All your ladies that can't conceive, fix your pituitary. Get you on the female reproductive formula, and then maybe go after the pituitary by itself temporarily, then go after the bowels. Remember how we connecting link from the head up here to the transverse? We showed you on that eye video. And then, uh, you know, work on that and bring all that into a state of balance. But look at how cooked foods creates bleeding in tissue, and raw foods doesn't. It, I'm just saying. It's interesting that when you start picking up the acid side of chemistry, your monthly period starts up more. When you eat more pure, you don't have one. Interesting. But it's enough to say that that's how most women go anyway on a raw food diet, is their periods become short, shorter, very scanty. Good. Perfect. Don't think that anything's wrong. You're cleaner. You're healthier. Look at what a monthly period is for anyway. It's a cleansing cycle, correct? Correct. Why? Because the uterus is a house. That's a little home. And you might have a little one coming in there visiting for nine months, so it's got to be clean. And that's what, that's what bloodletting is. Basically, it's bloodletting. It's cleaning with alkaline fluids. Well, you're doing the same thing when you're eating fruits and berries and, and melons. You're cleaning with alkaline fluids. With a kick. Mm -hmm. That's all it is, sweetheart. All it is. Alright, here's one. I have a request for help. Sorry to bother you. You don't bother me at all. I have to be the one that's apologetic, and I would love to be able to get to this whole thing today. 
that whole thing today. But there's no way because I haven't finished the other big thing that I was working on before. This is the new one she just handed me. So I thought I would want to get the more up-to-date ones because I'm still on December's. A daughter of a very good friend of mine has a few issues and the medical advice is that she gets radioact uh, radioactive iodine. Uh, they want to destroy her thyroid. Uh, radiation to thyroid and then have it removed. These guys just never stop. These guys never, never, never stop. They never learn either. They never grow up. They keep following the same friggin' pathway. <laughs> you take a, a sweet young girl and you, you kill her thyroid because you don't know how to fix it. I don't know why they call themselves doctors for I'm amazing sometimes. It just gets me. Sometimes it just really gets me. Mom, do we have a telephone? Ah, oh, we don't have a telephone number. I'd call this one right now. No telephone number. Damn. Okay. Matter of fact, I don't even... I don't know how they could spawn back out of this video because there's no email site or nothing here. Okay. Had to make decisions ASAP. Well, I hope the heck you called into this clinic. Because if you let... If, 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 if the mother of this daughter let them do that, shame me on her because that'll just screw up this poor girl the rest of her life and she didn't even fix nothing. Oh, it's over. I mean, this is childish thinking. Oh, it's overactive. Let's just kill it. Or it's overactive. Let's just cut a piece of it off until it has the, the stats that we like. Uh -huh. If that isn't childish thinking, I don't know what is. Matter of fact, I think a child would go, why don't we fix it? I'm telling you, when it, she's 15 years old. Jesus Christ, these guys, oh, they're, they're broken records. Grow up, medical doctors, grow up. Broken records. 15 year old, you want to remove it. Has Graves disease, Graves disease. She has a hyperthyroidism. Hyperactivity of the thyroid or any of the tissues is easy. You have to detox. This mother has to detox her daughter to get rid of hyperthyroid. You don't give anybody for hyperthyroidism. You detox them. You remove the stimulants, whether it's the acid stimulus, inflammation, the pituitary up here. Either the pituitary is making it hyperactive or the thyroid itself. Either she's got iodine, she's got chemistry in the thyroid, or she just got lymph stagnation around there, hyperstimulating the thyroid. It is the easiest to take care of is hyperthyroidism. It's hypo, chronic hypothyroidism. It's difficult, but this little girl is going to have chronic, chronic hypothyroidism. And if they're real smart, they'll remove her parathyroids with it. So then she won't have any bones to talk about. She won't, I mean, this is just more insanity in an insane world. You about ready for me yet? Hurry. Jesus. Of course, she has a mass on the thyroid gland. What system does a mass come from, guys? All right, the lymphatic system, right? So this is a 15-year-old. And a 15-year-old, what, what are you automatically going to know that's wrong with her? Kidney and adrenals. So you're going to want to hit... This girl should be fasting right now on grapes or lemons. Get this mass out of the thyroid gland. If not... Pull the damn thing out with black sap, but to remove the thyroid gland, that that is that 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 that's as low as you can get because it'll mess with that poor girl the rest of her life. Now she they might just take one, leave her one. Mass on thyroid gland, low energy, irregular heartbeat. Well, of course, heartbeat ten times faster than normal. Of course, that's hyperthyroidism. Hyperthyroidism, that's hyperthyroidism. Uh, eye picks attached. You know what? Uh, she's saving these eye picks. So we're going to be doing a day of eye picks. You don't wait, Jackie. You get on this. This is Jackie Redding. I need to... I need to uh, I'll try to get to you as AP as I can. Uh, what would you, you or any of your expert colleagues recommend? Jackie, I've gotten rid of so many masses and, and, and goiters and everything else, you can't even believe it. That, 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 you know, but removing the thyroid gland, 
you will sentence your your friend will sentence her daughter to hell the rest of her life and she's only 15 crap I think with that I'm gonna take a break and some of these cases get to me guys I mean it's just these 15 year olds these young kids they're just starting out in life and here the butchers come along because they don't know what causes anything they don't know how to fix anything their information's out there so if you refuse to listen or to research or learn, because God will show you, if your consciousness is open, God will show you the door. Easy. So keep yourselves always open. Always open for the awareness of what you want to know and be. For just greater awareness in itself. But again, what's the big problem with man, even the medical community, it's not these individuals, it's the mind. The academic narcissism that develops after too in too much study of things that are not even true. <laughs> but it's enough to say, you guys don't want to fall into that. Take care of yourselves. You're the only one that can take care of yourself. And so it's up to you. But I hope I give you enough information, enough knowledge that you can take this and get yourself as healthy as you want. You're 15 years old, you get your tumor off your thyroid gland. You just have to do these things. If it couldn't remove the tumor, you couldn't get the tumor out in a timely manner, of course. But that's not the case. 15 year olds should be able to get that tumor out pretty good. But if she have a filtration problem, she has a filtration problem. So you would be looking at that girl just like you would look at anybody else. You're looking at what system is down when you're looking at masses and inflammation and swellings and stuff like that. It's not the blood. There's no way. You'd be dead. It's the lymphatic system. And remember, 80% of interstitial fluid is lymph fluid, not blood. So it, it really opens your eyes when you realize that the predominant fluid of the body is not blood, it's lymph. And just because some, some practitioners out there don't know what that system's for doesn't mean we all know. And you guys probably are the group, the premier group of all groups that knows about the system that man is having trouble with that others don't. And I love you guys. You keep it out there. You keep teaching. Keep working on yourselves. And uh, maybe keep educating those that are unaware. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for taking your precious time on these videos. I, I know a lot of you say you watch them and I'm going, what? I, I, I love you for that. And um, I hope that it's made a change in your world because it's all God. Remember that. It's all one. And once we all recognize that, it's hugs and kisses all around. <laughs> love you guys. To the next video.